can hear the Amish coming. That's them. They're gonna help me. Beautiful morning, birds are coming. Look at that old greenery leaning and the rest of it. There they come. Yeah. I better turn this off, they don't like to get filmed. I have the Amish here and we're taking out those two by fours that were in there, the old uh, apartment. Uh, and you can see the difference. I'll try not to get you. And we're putting a 12 over eight window there, a barn door there, and another 12 over eight window over here. In this configuration of the door and the window, I didn't know until I went down to the town hall to get my building permit to do this barn up. And there it was, old man Hayward, and his farm helper and his dog right in front of the door and the window, the 12 over eight. Just a, a real strike of luck and I was so happy to find it. Barn beam that I collected from over there and we brought one over and this is gonna be the post that the pintles are gonna go into for the right side of the barn door. This, these are pintles right here. So the strap hinges go on it. This is a later one. This is probably from 1900, but I'm going to put early ones. Those are screw-in ones. So. This is eventually what it's going to look like. What we did was we took a, a beam with a tendon on it. We put the tendon right up in the old mortise where it used to be. And we're going to shim it up there. And that's going to be the post and the door jam for the barn door. Putting a window in there. Or building the jam. There we go. Oh, I gotta show the horse. There's the horse. Rex, pounding this in. Yeah. We're trying to get it all the way over there. We got a beater board there so we don't break it. It's just fine. Beam. Form. See you later. See ya. Windows uh, getting ready. I put this ball. post in. Looks cool. <laughs> uh, they left me a little present there. And this is eventually what the horse barn doors will look like. Horse barn, and it is a horse barn. You can see where the horses chewed some of the wood off and rubbing marks. Nice patina. These are the old horse windows. That would be get them get some air. <laughs> I had to tie the horses off. But I love the color and the Tina, that it's gonna make a nice interior. Two kind of famous people, uh, <laughs> Dale Clark. We call him Early Dale because he likes early stuff, early houses and stuff. And then uh, Russ Bailey, a guy that used to actually live in this place, um, a musician in town. Both told me about this door, this double door up here on the gable side. They're both asking if it was still here, and they both remember the top panel uh, above the door that's missing. He had a cutout light which was shaped kind of like a, a diamond with uh, tails on it. But this is pretty interesting door and there's a lot to really talk about this door. So this famous door has a L, L, H hinge offset so it doesn't hit the moldings on the back side. They even put these beautiful little profile moldings for decoration on the inside. This is really, just special. I mean, special, I don't know. I mean, God, today's world, they would never do something like that. Just a little decorative thing in here. You can see it's all mortised and pegged. Uh, old wooden pegs, no, no really nail construction. And you can see some of them are coming out up there. But this panel was inset into this, uh, this, this tendon was, or panel, was put into this mortise. And they must have done this with a hand plane with what's called a rabbit. So the hole or the mortise part would, would uh, also have a little profile. And that's one carved piece of wood. That's not a quarter round or three quarter round put in there. Just a beautiful piece. They can, you can even see. This door, I don't know, is just incredible. And quite frankly, one of the coolest country doors I've ever seen. So I'm begging you to stop back for a future episode to learn more about the revelations and fantastic discoveries when we historically preserve this adornment. So my Amish friends are coming again today to help. So I stickered all that wood, got everything good and organized for them. 
So what we're gonna do is this stick frame part of the old barn that they made into an apartment in the 70s. I'm gonna keep the rafters and we're gonna put these old posts here and make it look like a nice lean-to through here to store stuff. But the those are the header beams that we're gonna do today. Big, huge 21-foot header is gonna go right here. And it's gonna be nice morning this morning. Man, I don't know how to say it, except for I get so much joy doing the physical work on fixing up these barns. I hope you can hear it, but the Amish are coming. The clickety clack of their horses. You can you can see them. Boy, they're like a train coming. Here they come. Hopefully, they don't see me filming them. Here they come. Pulling in for their day's work. We're doing this barn door here. So I uh, dug down below the post to see what the foundation looked like. And the concrete that they poured over the years breathes moisture. And so what happened was that rotted this sill right there. And that sill is probably rotten all the way to the corner. So what I have to do is I have to dig down and find the old foundation stones and build off of that or build a footer. Either way, it's not going to be easy or fun. Part of the day that I like is when the Amish come, I get to feed my feed the horses. So I get to do this. There you go. Come on, Jeff. His name's Jeff. They named the horse a human name. I don't understand. The other ones were better named. We muscled this in. This was really heavy because it was freshly cut. So it was green. And then we got over here. And we put a dead man in here. And now we put this old, old uh, post in. And then it's gonna, we're gonna take out those once we get them all in. We use that, we use that one, we use that to jack it up from right here. And then we lowered this back down on it. It was pretty good. Look at him gleam. Just a pretty horse. I don't know about the name Jeff though. That is a new jack I bought at an auction, but it's a real nice one. And we got that going up to lift it up because we're gonna put another old post right there. Two more in. Got that holding that up. Stay out of the photo unless you wanna be in it. Nothing but time. And this is what will appear after some time. And now it's time to go up in the attic and replace some boards. Today we're replacing the boards in this old barn because a lot of these were rotting. So we're doing a lot of them. I gotta watch my feet or I'm gonna fall down. Working over here, he almost fell. <laughs> right, John? Didn't huh? That didn't happen. That didn't happen. We took up these boards here. And I wanted to, I knew this was rotting because that was a pocket for that knee brace that goes down there and it was coming up and water has been coming through this sheathing of the back of the barn. But my friend John here says that it's got enough meat there. We banged the hell out of it with a hammer and uh, doesn't look like much, but it should be good. If not, we can sister something from there underneath these boards. The construction's pretty pretty cool with all these knee braces. These some of these uh rafters had sheathing with 19 20 inch boards all the way along through it. They cut that major beam out and so I have to dig a hole down there and put a footer, put the beam back up through there. But this has absolutely no weight on it this fireplace in until we put a footer down there and build off of it but as you can see right there's one major pulse that would have came 
down and it would have came down and there's where they sawed it off right there can you see that right here that's where it is and then there's part of the sill so it was way down here the sill would have ran this way and that way and uh so i gotta dig way down and get a footer in there to be able to put a post back up through there and the sill would have been eight inches down this is the outside of the place hey rocky how are you that's the name of the horse finally got a horse here that has a real name so this concrete when it was poured water just poured off of there got down in here and rotted this major part of the beam or the post um and so that's all gone but if you look real close in there you can see part of the sill that comes over right there that would have tied into this whole thing uh, and there's his boots uh just tumbled this over very impressive i didn't think he could do it so now we're going to dig a hole down there and hopefully find a foundation that we can build off of to help that down here oh yeah should be a stone foundation right there see that's that's stone uh from probably down about four feet so we don't have to build too much so we took some of that out just to see if some bugs got in there that bugs carpenter or uh some type of ants got in there because it somehow stayed there and got moist and that was their nice little beddy by where they slept and ate but we did that and we got this dug down too and you can see that and go right up to to there ah. so we just put this 12 over 8 window in and i just wanted to show you there's where the other 12 over 8 is going to go and i just want to show you the how nice it's going to look the prettiness of it 